Okay, here we are continuing our Python 3 tutorials again. Be sure to check out the annotation for previous videos that will help you understand what's going on in this video. What we're going to work with today are for loops. Already we've worked with while loops, and this is similar, but while a f while, while a while loop, <laughs> a while loop, you know, will continue uh, until something is no longer true or until something is true, depending on what you set it as, where a for loop um, is more of, well, range, which we're going to work with the range function today as well. Um, but basically, it's for a number of things normally. And by a number of things, I mean you give it a certain range of information, and it does it for each one of the items or objects or whatever you put into it. Uh, and first thing we're going to do, we're just going to count to... Um, to 10. Also, another thing about a for loop uh, that you don't have in a uh, while loop is while loop, usually you're, you're checking the, a variable for something. Here, we're also setting a variable. So we're going to say for i, and it doesn't have to be i, it could be x, it could be uh, a word, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a variable that you're creating right here. So we're going to say for i in, and then we're going to give it uh, the range that we want it to loop for. So we're just going to count to 10, but we're going to use the uh, range uh, command here, the range function, and we're going to pass it information here. We're going to say 0, um, 21. And then we're going to say print i. Now remember, i is equal to whatever we set it up here. So while it's looping, it's actually going to count through and change the value of i each time. With a while loop, you would have that down here. You would say i equals 1, do whatever, and then you'd say i equals i plus 1, or i plus equals 1, just as we've done in previous tutorials. So uh, it's a little bit different uh, using a for loop, and definitely uh, a little bit shorter and more appropriate for certain things. Although a lot can be accomplished with both while loops and for loops. Uh, for loops are definitely more geared towards certain things. In this case, you'll see as we hit enter here, we counted from 0 through 20. The reason being that we stopped at 21 is because we've counted through, well, let's start at 5 and then say print, just as another example here. We started at 5 and went through 20, and if we were to change the end number to 20, we're only going to get through 19 because it's stopping once it hits that range right there. So we're counting from 5 to 20. Just think of it like that. We're not counting from 5 through 20. We're counting from 5 to 20. Now, you can also put other information in here. In a previous tutorial, we said something like x equals this is a string. That's what we did last week. We created a variable like that. And then we said, what is the length of that? And we say x, and it gives us 16. Well, with the range function here within our for loop, if we were to pass it that information, we're going to say uh, length of x, and then we're going to say print i. We're going to go like this and hit enter, and it went from 0 through 15, because it's going to go, okay, uh, we're getting one value here, we're going to start at 0, and we're going to count to whatever the value of this is, in which case was 16, but we're not going through 16, we're going to 16. Um, so we could use this, and I'm just going to give you kind of a lame example, um, but as we saw last week, we could say something like x equal, or x equals this string, so we say x, and inside square brackets here we can say 0, which gives us the first letter, 1 will give us the second letter, 2 will give us the third letter. Well, we can actually put that into our little uh, loop here. So we're going to go, each time we loop, i equals whatever number we're at in that range. Then we can say print, and we should be able to put x in here, and then give it the value of i. So each time it loops, it's going to look at x, and look at whatever number we are in the loop here and print it out. So we'll hit enter here, and you can see it printed. This is a string, each letter one at a time. Uh, we could also, should be able to, I didn't test this out before the tutorial, but we should be able to go like this, 0 through whatever. So this time when we do it, it's going to print, should print, one more letter each time. No, it didn't work like, oh, I, I put 0. I didn't mean to put 0. Duh. I. 
wait, zero, I put a one, this should be an I, sorry for that, I'll type, I do that a lot where I mean to type I and I put a one, I don't know why, they're nowhere near each other on the keyboard, and yeah, they're both lines, but you would think I would know the difference between an I and a one, anyway, now it should print out a little more each time, although it's stopping at 15. So how do we fix that? Uh, because we want to print that last letter, so we want it to count through uh, 16, not through 15. Um, so what we could do here is we can say plus one. So it's getting the value of len and adding one to it. Uh, so the value would be 16, now it's adding 17, so that's, it's going to go to 17, not through 17, but through 16, which is how many letters we have. So we'll hit enter, I'll say print, and again, I'll say x brackets zero colon i, not one, and when we hit enter here, by the end we get the full string, because what it's doing is, it's going, okay, first time I'm gonna look at x, I'm gonna look at x zero through zero, which is the first character, uh, starting at the beginning of zero and going through to the end of zero, if that makes sense. This is basically this side of the T is zero and we're going through the full zero before we, till we hit one basically. And that's where we're at here. Next time it loops, I is one more than it was before. Not because of this plus one, but because we're doing the loop. Don't get that confused. So it, now it's gonna say zero, one, and then zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, all the way through 16. 217, which is the same as saying through 16. And that's how we're doing that there. And just uh, to show you, we get the length of x, we can say plus 1. It's just like doing math, because as far as Python's concerned, this is an integer. This is the number, whatever that function outputs, which is an integer, uh, and, and that's what it's going to output. So it basically is the same as saying 16 plus 1, or we can see 16 plus 2, or 16 minus 1, or 16 divided by 2, at which point it's uh, outputting it as a float. Um, so just remember that that function, the, the functions, a lot of functions put out information as either strings, variables, or floats. There's other options as well. And so if it outputs it as an integer or a number of some sort, we can do math to it. So that's what we're doing there. And that's how we're getting 17 there rather than 16. So this might seem a little silly at this point. Like, why would you want to do that other than to do it? Well, uh, soon we're going to be getting into list arrays and um, you'll see how this comes in handy. I just wanted to start off with a basic for loop range uh, and show you how it works and then we'll see a little more use of it in the next couple of tutorials. So as always, I hope that you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. There you can search through my videos, playlists, and also check out my social networking pages, Google+, Facebook, Twitter. Um, and I hope that you subscribe. I have many tutorials, not just on Python, but a lot of other stuff. Check out my other series right now going on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, also, this is part of a series. I think I said that at the beginning. New video on Python 3 every Wednesday for the time being. Um, so if you get to a point where the videos aren't posted yet, that's because you've reached the point that we're at. Next week, there'll be a new one. So don't ask me why you can't access a certain video. It's because they haven't been published yet. I just got to say that because if I don't, somebody will ask. Um, so I, again, thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.